Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. A capacitor of unknown capacitance is connected across a battery of V volt. Let's draw a rough diagram. A capacitor C, let's call it. We don't know what's the value of C. And it is connected to a battery of voltage V. Great. The start, the charge stored in it is 360 microcoulomb. So Q is 360 microcoulomb, 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs. Great. Which is the charge stored in this capacitance. When the potential across the capacitor is reduced by 120 volt. So now it is V. New voltage will be V dash. That is V minus 120. When the voltage is reduced by 120 volt, the charge stored in this will be Q dash, which will be 120 microcoulomb. Okay, great. Calculate the potential V and unknown capacitance C. What will be the charge stored in the capacitor? Okay, that we will see later. Okay, let me repeat again the question and let me be clear with this, what they are saying. I took a capacitor. I connected to any battery, random battery with voltage V. I don't know how much it is. It can be 200 volt, 500 volt, 1000 volt, anything. And when I connect it to this V voltage, the charge that it capacitor can store, that will be Q, which will be 360 into this, right? Now what I did, now I reduced the battery voltage. I got another battery whose battery voltage is less than the initial battery with 120 volt. If it is so less, the charge it will store will be obviously less, right? But when you are reducing the voltages, the charge reduces, keeping what is what their thing constant, capacitance, right? So capacitance value doesn't change no matter what you are decreasing the voltage or decreasing the charge. Capacitance doesn't depend on charge and voltage. It is the property of a particular capacitor. So C value remains constant. So first one, what is our C value from the first one? Let me remind you the formula Q equal to CV. This is our relation for a capacitor. So what is our capacitance in the first case? Sir, it will be C which will be equal to Q by V. Equation number one. Let's not make it as equation 1. Let's substitute the value here. 360 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole divided by voltage V. This is our equation 1. Now, the capacitance value still remains same. It doesn't change by changing the battery. But charge changes. So what is the new charge? Q dash. What is the new voltage? V dash. Be very careful. It's a ratio. So ratio depends when you change Q dash, V dash also changes or V dash if you change Q also changes. And since they both are changing, the overall value remains same. Sir, how that can be possible? So look at these values. 5 by 10, 6 by 12, 100 by 200, 500 by 1000. Is all the numerators equal? No, sir. Is all the denominators equal? No, sir. Is overall value equal? Yes. 5 by 10 is half. 6 by 12 is half. I hope this is clear. So when you change the charge or when you change the potential, the charge changes, eventually the capacitance remains same. So Q dash will be 120 into 10 to the power minus 6. V dash, which is the voltage, V minus 120. This is our equation number 2. That's our first one. This is our second one. Both capacitance are equal? Yes. So from 1 and 2. Let's equate them. 360 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole divided by V must be equal to 120 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole divided by V minus 120. Cancel this with this. And let's cross multiply. Before I cross multiply, let me simplify more. 0 cancels with this. And if I take 12 left hand side, it will be, okay, thirty six upon v equals to twelve upon v minus one twenty. Let's confirm it once again. Yes, this is our equation. If I take twelve on the left hand side, it will be twelve threes are thirty six three by v equals to one by v minus one twenty. Now it becomes easy. Let's cross multiply three v minus three sixty equal to v. Let's take v on the left hand side and three sixty on the left hand side right hand side equal to three sixty. 2V is equals to 360. And when you divide, 
with 2 it will be 180 volt so initially the battery voltage was 180 and what is the charge initially 360 micro coulomb can we find the capacitance value yes so capacitance value c will be equals to q by v so q is 360 into 10 to the power minus 6 180 18 twos are so 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 or you can write it as 2 microfarad that's the capacitance value let's move to the second part what will be the charge stored in the capacitor if the voltage applied had increased by 120 if you increase the battery voltage by 120 volt so let's do the second part over here what is our initial voltage so 3 uh, 180 volt we have just now found it what's the new voltage v dash that will be 180 plus 120 so what's the new voltage so 200 volt if the new voltage is 200 volt what will be the new charge so new charge will be equals to q dash will be equal to c into v dash correct again i am repeating capacitance value doesn't change so c will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 voltage new will be 200 so the new charge will be 2 to the 400 micro coulombs done so then on what our uh, capacitance value depends our capacitance value depends on the dimensions area and the separation of the plates if it is a parallel plate and otherwise other dimensions depending on the nature of capacitor it doesn't depend on charge and voltage so i hope this is clear